This, today's practical, we're going to look at the reduction of copper oxide. So, so far, when we've been working out empirical formulas, we have looked at the combustion of magnesium to work out the empirical formula of magnesium oxide. Um, today, we're going to do a slightly different experiment where we're going to reduce a compound. So, we're going to take, um, in this case, copper oxide, and we're going to reduce it. So, we're going to take away the oxygen and work out the empirical formula that way. So, it's slightly different. Um, we're going to start by taking um, a tube and weigh our empty tube. So we've got a test tube here which has got a hole in the end which allows um, gas to escape. So that's going to be our tube that we're going to use today. I'm going to weigh that without anything in and that's 15.56 grams. Okay. I'm going to put that to one side. I'm then going to take a, a weighing boat. I'm going to zero my um, balance. I'm going to take some copper oxide, which is a black solid, and we're going to weigh out two grams. So I've got a, um, a weighing boat on a balance, and I'm going to weigh out two grams. Now you have to be careful, it's quite a, um, this powder can be a little bit um, of an irritant, um, and it's quite messy. So I'm just going to take, make sure that I've got two grams, I've, I've gone a little bit overboard, so I'm just going to take a little bit out. Then add that to my tube, being careful not to um, let it escape out of the end. And then that's ready to then set up. So Dr. Greenhouse has set up this apparatus for us now where the copper oxide is in the reduction tube. We've got the hole facing up here at the end and we'll see why in a moment. Um, the rest of the apparatus, I have got this tube here from the first gas tap leading to a test tube here that's got methanol in it. So you're going to bubble the methane through here. I'll be able to see the bubbles coming through here. It will allow me to know that there is a nice flow of methane there. The methane will flow through this tube here into the reduction tube. Now the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the methane in a moment to allow it to move through the system. I need to flush out all of the air that's in there. All I want within this reduction tube is methane. After about 10 seconds, I'm going to take a match and I'm going to light the hole here in the reduction tube and we should see a nice little flame. Okay, I'm going to let that run. I'm then going to light my second um, tube from the gas tap here to this Bunsen burner and I'm going to use this to strongly heat the copper oxide to try and reduce it. So let's go. I turn the gas on here and we can see already those bubbles coming through the methanol. So I've got a nice steady flow. I reckon maybe five seconds gone already. So we'll wait another five. And I'm now going to light the methane coming out the end of the reduction tube. Oh, there's a very gentle flame there. It is lit. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Growing slightly larger now. Okay, so I've got the methane coming through that system. Now I'm going to light my Bunsen burner. And I'm going to use this. to strongly heat the copper oxide. So we can see already towards the middle of the tube where the copper oxide is spread quite thinly, there is a colour change going on there already. Okay, so we can see there's a really nice colour change going on on that copper oxide now. About two thirds of it has gone this lovely orange colour. I 
Okay, so I think that is actually going to be as good as we're going to get with this. There's a little bit of copper oxide at the end that I'm not satisfied has been fully reduced, but without disconnecting this and giving it a good shuffle round, I'm not sure I'm going to get it right now. So I'm just going to talk through how we would stop this practical. So I'm going to remove the Bunsen here that I'm using to heat the copper oxide directly and make sure I turn that off and it's nice and safe. Because of this lit gas here, I don't want to turn off the gas because it will draw the flame through the system. So I need to blow this out and then I'm going to turn off the gas. So after Ms. Best has finished the experiment, um, we've allowed the apparatus to cool. We're now going to weigh the reduction tube with our copper in it um, to see what the mass is. So I'm weighing it on the balance and that's 17.18 grams. Okay, so you can add that result to your table. 